Alright guys, um, it's me again, Joe, using Cam Studio, uh, open source, free, all that, very good program. I'm using DX Studio here, and I'm going to show you how to use the third person camera module. There is a written tutorial for it, but they seem to left a part or two out. And it was confused me for a long time until I figured out how to do it. Alright, so first off, we're in our 3D scene. And now if you still have your tab open on the side, there is a written tutorial and we're going to find it. So we're going to go down where did I just leave that off at, guys? I'm looking for... I'm looking for tutorials. View. There we go. There's tutorials. So we'll go to click on tutorials. And I'm looking for control modules and a third person module. And it'll bring it up over here and you can read through it. And this is where I'm going to get my numbers right down here. Alright, so what we're first going to do is we want to add a uh, add a few meshes. So we're going to go to mesh and we'll use the sand plane. You can go on the online library or sometimes some things stay right there. So just first I'm going to add the sand plane. And what I want to do here to the physics engine, click on enable. But anytime you add a ground, you want to uncheck allow movement. That'll keep it from falling. But with the physics enabled, things will be able to bounce off it. Now what I'm going to do here again, let's go to meshes. What I'm doing is when I go on mesh, I uh, right mouse click and it opens. Now I'm going to go to the online library and I'm going to look for the girl character because she seems to be the best fully scripted. For a check, import checked. Okay, now we have the female. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to go down and look for modules. Again, right click on it. Online library. And I'm going to get the third person. Import checked. Alright, so now that we have that, now if you look off to the side here, eh, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. So if you look off to the side, it'll give you all of your um, IDs and everything that you're going to put right down here in the properties. Now for player ID, I'm going to look up here and it's just girl underscore one. So... Girl underscore one and camera ID because there's only one camera and you'll see here they have this a little bit backwards but so camera ID equals camera underscore one enter scene ID this is the first scene so whatever scene it would be if it would be scene 7 you'd put scene 7 so underscore 1 enter and then you'll see camera height and you'll look over here so we'll go 1.5 enter camera distance at 3 and you can change these numbers if you want. And the run speed will be 4. Enter. Camera. Uh, horizontal rotation speed. So that will be 1. Enter. And then 1. Enter. And then I will come down here. Attach to object. I'm going to attach it to the girl. Click OK. Now this is the part that I couldn't figure out. What you have to do up is go up here to camera. Click on camera. 
and you'll see the properties come over here and we're going to uncheck the allow mouse look that's more of a first person view all right so i uncheck that and now let's give us a test here guys there we go now we have our camera behind the grill and you'll see I think with the right mouse you can spin her around camera's a little sensitive but there you go so very quick very easy using a third person module you can get that up and running and that was the little trick I can never figure out was going into the camera and changing and taking out a loud mouse look off because if you don't do that like I said it's in first person alright guys and you can also um let me see here. Let me bring up this. And I do believe if you keep reading it, you can uh, check right here, which is first person. It'll toggle between. So if you want to check that, and F8 will be the toggle. Let's try this again. that's in first person now if we click on F8 is the F8 and you see it goes into a uh, first person mouse mode all right so escape from that all right guys that's real quick how to use um, the third person module in uh, DX studio this was Joe um, thanks for watching guys